In this lesson, we're going to be talking about using TCP IP. Now, this one kind of goes without saying, perhaps, because it's something that you do every day. Anytime you connect to the internet, you're using TCP IP, whether you realize it or not. Every piece of communication that goes across the internet is using the TCP IP protocol suite or suite of protocols. If I were to, for example, go to google.com, what I'm doing is I am issuing a series of TCP requests in order to get all of the content on this page to get it back to me. So this entire process of just bringing up Google requires several pieces of communication that use TCP and IP. I could go to infiniteskills.com. And again, I'm issuing a series of TCP IP requests or TCP requests. And we'll eventually get into discussing how all of these different protocols interconnect together because it's really a series of protocols that make this happen. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually issuing an HTTP request that gets encapsulated inside TCP, that gets encapsulated inside of IP, that is then encapsulated inside of Ethernet, and then sent across the wire. Or in this particular case, it's actually being sent wirelessly until it hits a, another networking device and gets sent out to a network provider. So there's a series of protocols here that allow all of this communication to happen. So I can do some simple troubleshooting, for example. And again, this is using TCP IP. So I can do this program called ping, which tells me that the website infiniteskills.com is actually up. In this case, I'm using a protocol called ICMP, and ICMP then gets encapsulated inside of IP. And again, we'll talk about encapsulation in another lesson, but here's another example of using TCP IP or the protocols in the TCP IP suite. I could use SSH, which allows me to connect to a remote system. And that again is using TCP IP. I can bring up my mail program. And in this case, I'm using Apple Mail, and Apple Mail is going to use TCP IP as well. If I were to stream music across the internet, for example, so I can bring up iTunes, and I could bring up the iTunes store, and this is actually issuing the HTTP requests that I was mentioning previously. And if I were to just grab something, for example, Les Miserables, and if I were to just stream a little music here, that again is using the TCP IP protocol suite. So anything that you do on the internet, whether you realize it or not, is using TCP IP, whether you're gaming, you're playing Minecraft, for example, or you're playing Code of Conduct, or you're playing Halo on your Xbox, as an example, and you're playing with people around the world. That, again, is all using TCP IP. So just simply knowing how all of these processes work and how they interoperate with one another makes working with networks and troubleshooting them and understanding when things are working and when things aren't working so much easier. So that's just using TCP IP and again, the various applications that make use of TCP IP.